25 years of magic and four new Royal Mint Harry Potter coins to celebrate this. Let's have a look at them. Hello and welcome to this video. In this episode we're going to be taking a look at the complete set of 50p coins released by the Royal Mint to celebrate 25 years of magic in the wizarding world. This set was started late last year and the final coin was released in March. This set is also rather special since it consists of two Queen Elizabeth II coins and two King Charles III coins. These coins come in a range of options, but the ones I have here today are the brilliant uncirculated colour and non-colour editions. None of these coins are intended for circulation, so unfortunately you won't find them in your change. Right, let's jump into the first coin in the series, Harry Potter. You can tell this is the first coin in the set by looking on the reverse of the pack. Above the barcode, there is a snitch with a number inside. This one displays one. So, the coin. Each coin in this set bears a mark which changes depending on the angle you look at it. In one way it shows 25 and in another way it shows a lightning bolt. The reverse of this coin also features some micro text 25 years of magic along with the coin's name Harry Potter. On the colour edition Harry himself is coloured. There was some disapproval of the coin to begin with as people said the picture of Harry did not look like him, him being Daniel Radcliffe. This is correct because the coin takes the illustrations from the book's illustrated editions. Inside the pack there is some information about Harry Potter, it gives us an overview of who he is, why he's special and how his life is about to change completely. Also included is some information about the book's author, JK Rowling, and the illustrator, Jim Kay. The second coin is Hogwarts Express. Like before, this coin also features the 25 lightning mark, some microtech, and the snitch on the reverse reads 2, confirming it is the second coin in the set. There's not as much information in this one, but of course they mention the famous platform 9 and 3 quarters. It is also on the train to Hogwarts where Harry, Ron and Hermione meet their enemy counterparts, Malfoy, Crab and Goyle. A lot of colour feature on the coloured version, with the classic red train engine, an owl and students waiting to board. This coin is also the last to feature the portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. Ok, on to the third coin in the series, and this is also the first to feature King Charles III. No, that's not him there on the reverse, that's Albus Dumbledore. This is King Charles III. Inside the pack we are immediately greeted with a quote from Albus Dumbledore, along with the normal page about the illustrator and the author. This pack also describes how we first get to know Dumbledore when he helps drop baby Harry off at his new family. The colour version of this coin, like the one of Harry, features Dumbledore highlighted in his purple robe and hat. Finally, we have the fourth and final coin in this set, Hogwarts. As with all the other coins, this one is no different, in which it shows off the cool holographic 25 and lightning bolt. Inside the pack we get more amazing illustrations and a description of what Hogwarts is like on the inside and out. The colour edition highlights the castle's many spires and towers. Ok that concludes this video, I hope you've enjoyed this look over the Harry Potter set. Let me know in the comments below which one your favourite is. I think mine has to be the third, Dumbledore. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye!